Hey guys, what's up? Abby here, and I decided to upload again. And I'm gonna try to start uploading again, but only when it's something I really want to upload, find interesting, or feel is really needed. So, guys might come back. I can get a lot of questions about a lot of things, so might want to bring those back. But this is one thing I really want to make a video about: is our first look at Shadowlands class changes. Just a preview. Nothing crazy and nothing in detail, no tool tips and most likely not even close to everything that's going to change. But I'm going to talk about the big things, the important things, and I'm really just going to be showing a lot of people what the changes are who haven't seen them. I can't really go in depth. I'll just get stuff wrong and might even just be completely wrong about things and spread some false things. And I really don't want to do that. Above anything else, I'd say join the Death Knight Discord. I will put the link in the description below. And come ask questions, come participate in conversations, and even just lurk and watch conversations go down. But we have a f bunch of phenomenal resources in there and a lot of very helpful people. So first change on the list is all Death Knights getting Death and Decay and AMZ. Basically just Frost is getting Death and Decay because the other two have it. And it seems that AMZ is becoming baseline from this line. I, I've read this line many times and I can't read it any other way than AMZ becoming baseline. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, but this does seem like it's becoming a baseline ability. What AMZ does, I believe, is 60% magic reduction in this bubble on the ground for like six to eight seconds. I might be wrong about the time, I might be wrong about the damage reduction because I don't PvP enough to really memorize that kind of stuff. It's just, oh, I know this is good against casters, I'm going to run it. I haven't really looked in depth at the tooltip or remembered it, but if that is becoming baseline, that seems like a pretty decent raid cooldown. Very similar to how Demon Hunters have Darkness, that would feel like it's on the same tier almost. It's a magic reduction, that's crazy. If that is the case, oh my god, we're getting raid usefulness. Besides death grip, yes, we're no longer grip bots. If it's not the case, then we're still grip bots who can maybe do some damage. And then the next one is all the specs getting raised dead. So blood and frost getting raised dead. I've thought about this a decent amount as well. Because originally they teased it. And if they are bringing it back they really should at least give some identity to the race dead and just a little flair to it like a little glow frost blue glow to the frost one a little red glow for the blood one and some green glow with maybe some flies coming around the unholy one just to give some identity i don't feel like that really helps it at all it just in in you know the sense of maybe Oh, you're playing Frost, I see your pet over there. Oh, you're playing Holy, I see your pet over there. Not really anything like that, more just for cosmetic purposes and class identity. And then, let's go down here. So, it doesn't seem like there's anything big for blood. They do have this new blood tap. Blood tap was a thing back in the day. It was, some, it was something for all the specs, I believe. And it was pretty good. I remember it in WAD. I believe DKs ran that no matter what. Or maybe it was baseline. I played Hunter in WAD. And I had a DK alt. So that I made like at the end of the expansion. Barely played on. So I don't really know too much. And it was so long ago. I, yeah, man. I, I don't remember very well. But it's cool to see them bring back stuff that was popular. It just makes me wish that... Some of it was never removed or thought more in depth, or maybe we were asked to have it removed. That would be really nice. And then Frost down here. So the biggest change on this list is Frost getting the capability to use two-handers. So they haven't, of course, gone in depth with this yet. It's causing a lot of discussion in the Discord among the Frost channel. And in my personal opinion, I'm excited for it because it mixes up a spec that's been fairly stale for the last two years and it has potential to be cool, but 
back when DK had the ability to use two-handers, Frost had the ability to use two-handers, it was never really balanced. And I don't have faith that Blizzard will balance it well at all. There's a lot to think about it, like Rune Forges. You're obviously going to have to run Razor Ice because it's 15% frost damage basically when it's stacked up. Doesn't really, you know, Fallen Crusader doesn't really stack up to that very well. So you're just losing out on Fallen Crusader. What do you do there? That seems like something they really need to think over. Plus the attack speed, how much more damage will it do? Will it buff certain abilities like it did in the past where Obliterate did more damage, you had a different rotation priority, or is it just you use two-handers? Um, the reason I like that more as well is because I, I can use a weapon for Unholy, and then I can use the same weapon for Frost. That, that to me is pretty nice. I don't have to then fish for one-handers. I, I don't have to have alternate weapons i can just use the same weapon for all three specs it's something that hunter currently ha well hunter had in the past now with survival they don't but warlock has it and warrior has it. well warrior warrior can use two handers on both so they basically have it i just like that ability uh, i may be a simple person i really am a simple person i have simple wants out of my spec in World of Warcraft, and know a lot of people are more in depth about it, but you know, we'll see how it turns out. It's, it's not final yet. The iconic Frostworm's Fury is going to be available for Frost Death Knight's baseline. So it's currently a talent that frees up the talent um, window there. So we'll see what they put in that slot. I think there are some things that should come back as talents but I'll, I'll think about it more i don't really want to you know spitball here i don't want to give too many thoughts and opinions and feely craft i just want to give first impressions so next thing here is this new thing called hypothermic presence which has the runic power cost for abilities for a decent amount of time my thoughts, 15 seconds, something like that. Seems really crazy for Breath of Sendragosa. We'll see what they do with Breath. Uh, my opinions are the 100 talents need a buff, Obliteration especially. Uh, obliteration just needs a rework, to be truthful. And Ice Cap, with Corruption going to be going away, Ice Cap seems like it's going to take a hit. So play around with the 100 talents. I wonder where this is going to go. My thought was maybe just have it replace where Frostworm is. It depends on what the cooldown of this is, what how long it lasts, and what ends up happening to Breath of Cindergosa. But I don't really want to feel the craft at all. So we'll just stop there. So when Holy's getting a decent amount of changes, Summon Gargoyles becoming baseline. It was a talent in this expansion. In Legion, it was baseline. It lasted, I believe, either 30 or 40 seconds. I actually forget. It's been so long. Well, here's the thing. I used Dark Arbiter anyway, so I didn't really memorize the cooldown of Summon Gargoyle. Probably at the time, but I've forgotten by now. It's like three years ago. And if this is going to be baseline, opens up the talent window, just give us back Dark Arbiter. It was really fun. It was cool. It changed how the spec worked. Yeah, crits were annoying with it, but I liked it. I know some people don't, but that's my opinion. Give me your opinion. Do you think Dark Arbiter should come back? Post that down below. We'll see what people think. Army of the Damned is going to recruit Magus of the Dead. And whew, that is pretty cool. So they're baking in Magus of the Dead into the spec, well, into the talent window. Because Army of the Damned is the talent. Don't get that confused with Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is the baseline ability for Unholy. Army of the Damned is the talent that makes Death Coil and Epidemic reduce the cooldown of Apocalypse and Army of the Dead. This is the talent that's going to be latched on. So are they changing how it works? Because down here, they also said Death Coil and Epidemic Cast will reduce Army of the Dead's cooldown. They don't 
I feel like that's baked in to Army of the Damned. I don't feel like that's going to be baseline. If that is baseline, that would be absolutely absurd. Absurd? <laughs> it said insert. Absurd. I feel like they're just, you know, new sentence here, but ties into that. Uh, because then they continue talking about Magus of the Dead down here. So I feel like that's latched into there. I'll also post a link to this down below so you guys can look over all the classes. Maybe see how your alt ends up. Allowing Unholy Death Knights to... Uh, yeah, okay. That is pretty crazy. Magic of the Dead will also fight fight by a Death Knight side when they cast Apocalypse. So they're baking that into Apocalypse baseline? Or are we getting that with Army of the Damned? Is Army of the Damned making it so Magus is summoned for... I'm I'm very confused here. I feel like they meant Army of the Dead here instead of Army of the Damned. I'll see what they do with that. If they did mean Army of the Dead, that would make a lot more sense here. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Which also benefits from a cooldown reduction whenever Death Coil and Epidemic are cast. So if this doesn't play off of Army of the Damned, and this is baseline, wow. I could be wrong, and I will post in the description not only the link, but any changes that are made to this so you guys get the most accurate information if this is changed just let me know and holy death knight's mastery will benefit both the master and the servant so your minion gets the increase that's that's pretty awesome that's that's something i've not wanted for a while because it's it's kind of a side thought more than something you actively want but you know nice damage buff so these are the current changes for DKs in Shadowlands. It's just the preview. It's not all of the changes. We don't even have tooltips for these yet. So these could not even be good changes. We don't know. And one of the things I'm going to really look out for is what happens with one and two hand frost and how they balance two hand frost because that's going to be a really difficult thing to balance. I'm also going to look out for the, if this actually means Army of the Dead instead of Army of the Damned, because that makes more sense. And if it is Army of the Damned, if it is Army of the Dead, wow. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll try to upload more often for y'all. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one.